Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Survival Tutorial Series where today we are learning all about the amethyst geodes and uh, moss blocks so let's just get right into it as you can see I have done some work off camera I built this tiny little aquarium for the axolotls and with that said let's just get uh, geared up you know it's just yeah, all we basically need is just pickaxes and possibly some basic caving stuff that we always take with uh, with ourselves. We probably won't take moss blocks right now, but um, yeah, so maybe a bucket of water that I'll probably you know go and get right now. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Of course, some torches so that uh, mobs won't be jumping on our head as well. And uh, yeah, there goes the water. And uh, you know what? Let, let's let's breed these cows real quick. You know, just 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 to keep the farm going and uh, get some more XP. And uh, yeah, let's let, let's let's head to the, let's head into the mines. Now we have found a, a geode in the second episode, I think, uh, right in this cave right here. And uh, we, let, let, let's just go and bust right into it. And as you, as you will see, uh, I still haven't turned uh, the, you know, that, that it's not a, it's not a hack, but I still haven't, um, you know, still haven't edited uh, the Minecraft files so that so that I have uh, normal Minecraft brightness. I still have, you know, these this ramped up uh, brightness uh, in game. So that's why my caves are uh, pretty much, uh, you know, uh, with n normal light. Uh, even though there are no torches here, and uh, as you as you can hear, or probably I'm not sure if you can hear it, I'll probably oh there's gold like it. Uh, I'll probably just try to turn on the sound a little bit because I'm not sure that I can hear it. <laughs> so let you know, just just give me a second. No, you you definitely can't hear it. But uh, with that being said, this is the amethyst geode. Yeah, it's consisted of uh, amethyst blocks, and so there are two types of amethyst blocks. There are these, uh, you know, uh, that look like a broken one, and the normal ones. Uh, you can't mine the those that look like the broken, uh, because oh yeah, there yeah there goes the sound. Okay, uh, you as I was saying, you can't mine those uh, that look like they're broken because uh, of the, of uh, how the game works. And actually, the broken ones are the ones that the crystal, amethyst crystals are growing on. <coughs> so uh, we'll probably talk about that uh, in a minute. Also, uh, the whole geode is, uh, you know, wrapped around a uh, calcite and smooth puzzle. So there are uh, another, you know, few blocks that uh, you can use for building or something for example i really like uh, calcite even though i don't uh, i hope that wasn't a broken lock whatever uh i really like calcite even though i don't really build with uh, you know white blocks but uh, i think that the, that the texture isn't you know too too disturbing or you know you know what i mean uh so i'll probably hopefully uh you know use it and I built hopefully in this world. If not in this world, then uh, definitely in uh, you know in my other worlds. And also, there is a difference between, uh, as you just saw, my inventory. There is a difference uh, if you mine it, if you mine the amethyst crystals with a silk touch pickaxe or uh, with a normal pickaxe or fortune 3 pickaxe that is uh, the one that will give you the best results because you will get the most amethyst as i was saying you know a few episodes ago in our enchanting episode uh, fortune 3 uh, multiplies the ore drops and uh, also even though i don't think that the amethyst crystals are considered a you know ore but they also multiply a uh, amethyst uh, crystal 
and uh, yeah, so <coughs> that's uh, basically it. As you can see, the, the crystals all are already starting to regrow, and what we what we will want to do is uh, probably mine all these all this uh, you know normal amethyst out in some of the calcite as well. I'll probably don't go crazy because uh, you can always just come back for it. But um, just make some space for the crystals to grow. Maybe, maybe we will find you know, some more of these uh, broken blocks so that, that we will actually use it, use for uh, growing the amethyst crystals. So I'll probably have to replace the torches because oh, there, there is a double one. Uh, I'll probably have to replace the torches because I really don't want a creeper to spawn around here and uh, blow this place up. So it's very close to our base and uh, uh, we can you, we can come down here whenever we need some you know emphasis crystals so uh, so yeah actually the let's talk about the amethyst crystals and their usage so uh, right now there are I'm not sure about the number but there are several uses for it. You can, for example, use it to craft uh, a, a telescope uh, with uh, crystals. You can uh, craft, uh, obviously, the amethyst blocks with uh, amethyst crystals. Of course, uh, the tin glass, that is uh, a special type of glass that uh, doesn't let uh, light through. So, for example, if you have uh, a spawner room, and a farming room uh, just you know next to it you can actually you know watch uh, the spawn and spawn the, mon the monsters without you know uh, disturbing it with uh, your light from torches or something just by putting the tin glass in between uh, because the tin glass won't let uh, the light from the torches through so there will always be you know a light level zero on the other side unless you uh, you know, let the sunlight through, or uh, put a torch, or another um, light source in there. So, about the amethyst farming, I hope I didn't uh, get anything. Oh, uh, a uh, lightning rod, of course, is the one of one of the most uh, actually not for me really, but uh, one of the very exciting uh, features that was added in this update is uh, the lightning rod. So if you you know, have, uh, happen to have a wooden roof on your house and a lightning would uh, struck it, obviously your house would, uh, or at least the roof, would burn down. And uh, what the lightning rod does is uh, obviously uh, catch the lightning and prevent that from happening. So what you see me right now doing uh, in time lapse is uh, basically just removing blocks around uh, the uh, broken amethyst blocks so that uh, uh, there is place on all of the sides of the blocks and uh, so that we can grow more amethyst from there and yeah, back to the base. And uh, actually got some uh, glow lichen but uh, yeah, there, there is the calcite. This is what a smooth bezel looks like, and uh, we can get actually smooth bezels from. Uh, I believe that uh, when you put a normal basalt, that you can get another uh, into a furnace and smooth it up. And uh, here we have, you know, the amethyst crystal that we go by mining a, you know, those crystals with uh, silk hatch pickaxes, and obviously the very, very much of these. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, now I'll probably go off camera, uh, do some farming in between cuts and uh, put the glow lichen on a tree or something so that we can get more of this. And uh, with that said, let's uh, grab the moss and uh, let's talk about the moss because I'm very, very much excited, very excited uh, uh, from it. And let's just put, let's just put this all away. We don't need it. And yeah, let's go. So, uh, the moss blocks. Basically, what you do is you put them on the ground. You can basically multiply them just by bone milling them. They will spread uh, over an area. I don't, I'm not sure about the uh, radius. 
but uh, they'll spread uh, uh, around the area. They'll spawn some grass, some moss carpets, and some azalea bushes. So, azalea bushes. What you can do from the uh, when, what you can do with them is basically just you can either pick them up and move them elsewhere, or basically, as I'll just sh as I'll show you in a minute, you can uh, put them down and uh, use a bone meal on them that will grow a azalea tree and there are actually two types of these saplings or bushes this is the flowering azalea the trees uh, do not uh, vary they are pretty much the same they always spawn like this uh, they have uh, uh, leaves uh, that are flowery and basically a normal azalea leaves however the, oh, the wood is always oak it's not a special type of wood uh, uh, like uh, azalea wood, that's not a thing. And also under the tree uh, there is a special block that is very hard to get, it's called a rooted dirt. You can basically just mine it by like a normal dirt, it, it sounds a tiny bit different, it looks a tiny bit different. And it has actually a use that I'll show you in a minute, you can basically just use a hoe and uh, get uh, some roots from it. As you can see, they are all, but both look the same. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can, uh, you know, shear the all, all the leaves off if you want to. Also, leaves look all the same as I can show you right now. And uh, yeah, so what you can do uh, with the moss is basically, you know, just ter ter terraform, do some landscaping, so it's better. And, uh, yeah, this is the moss, car moss carpet. Basically looks like a normal, normal green or light carpet. It is a tiny bit, you know, different. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you can get very, very much of these just by, you know, bone milling the, the, a single moss block. And uh, I believe I don't like 50 mod blocks for a single mod block in my testing world, world earlier today. Uh, so, yeah, this is uh, very effective. You can basically have a great supply of this, and I believe you can turn this into a more bone meal uh, using a composter. So, uh, that is very nice. And I can jump into the hole. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Let's just put these down here. Now, as you can see, I uh, will probably yeah, 45, 45 moss blocks. Now, uh, you know what? Let's let, let's show the rooted dirt first. I need some wood because I for, I, I'm too lazy to go back to the base. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll craft a wooden hoe and probably just you know leave it over here. Uh, forever to despawn. So let's just, let's just craft a wooden hoe real quick, so I can show you the trick with the uh, rooted dirt. So we'll just put it down. There it goes. And, uh, by using a hoe on it, you get uh, a hanging root. There's not much of use for hanging roots unless you you know you want to do some something li I like uh, underground under a big tree you know like you you want to put a root basically a decorating block only uh so yeah that's that's that and uh now you can you get yeah you can you can just hang hang, the, hang them like this you can bone meal them actually if you will try so uh, basically that isn't there isn't a uh, way to farm them right now Except for you know, some duplication glitches or something, I'm I'm sure that uh, something like that will come up eventually. But what I wanted to show you is, uh, yeah, we we won't need that anymore. Uh, I I don't want that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's just uh, you know what, let's just uh, show it to you so 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 that you believe me. I'm clicking and spamming. The bone meal on the hanging where it doesn't do anything, so uh, yeah, I'll fix it up again. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, well, let's just uh, get rid of these trees because I don't want. Well, don't, I don't really want them here. I'll probably, you know, end up uh, probably growing quite a few of these, getting stuff stocked up on the azalea bushes. 
Azalea trees, shall I say, because uh, or leaves, leaves. Leaves are the thing that I most care about, and basically, you you shear, you shear the leaves as uh, oh, as on the on any other tree, and you'll get the flowering azalea and the normal azalea uh, leaves. Uh, what is interesting about the flowering azalea is uh, you can actually use them they actually uh, for you know bee farms because they flowering azalea leaves uh, attract bees then can uh, pollinate or uh, you know both of them uh, so uh, you can use them instead of flowers in your you know uh, tree farms it also um, no, as normally with uh, your normal trees, uh, you can get from uh, if you don't, you know, shear all the leaves from the uh, azalea trees, you can actually get the saplings or the azalea or flowering azalea bushes that you get from, you know, uh, bone milling the moss blocks. So that so you don't have to actually keep bone milling over and over again, and we'll definitely not, uh, you know, get a drop right now because uh, why would we? Uh, so <laughs> I will probably not even wait here. I just you know clean, clean this place up and uh, probably end this episode with uh, this. I basically did go over everything I wanted. In the next episode maybe we'll uh, do something with bees because I really would like to get uh, no nothing dropping as as, as always. Uh, I'll definitely want to get my hands on some uh, honeycomb very soon because I want to start using copper and we want uh, to have you know wax copper as much as we want to have normal copper <coughs> and also I'm sorry about that my allergies are going crazy and uh, also the, the candle so uh, see ya